Hi everyone, welcome to the another video of Postman series. So today in this video, we are going to see what is variable and what are the types of variables are available in the Postman and how do we use the variable and how to define the variables. Okay, so we'll going to discuss more about on the variables. What is variables and how we can use the Postman. Okay. So what is variable? So the variable is uh, like a kind of like a placeholder which will store your value and you can re I mean reuse the values of the postman in by, by storing as a value in the variable. So you can reference throughout the collections, environment, free requests and test scripts also. Okay, you can use the variables in across any forms, I mean uh, anywhere in the postman like for example in the URL, the query parameter, authorization, header, body, free requests and test scripts also we can use the variable. Okay, so now what is variable? We have seen what is variable. It is a placeholder where you can store your value or you can replace them. Okay, so variable, uh, like if you want to set some variables, right? So for example, this is our URL. So in this URL, I want to set this number, which is our ID. I want to set it as a variable. So what we can do, either you can directly go on set like this. So for example, if you want to define the variables, so you can just double click. Okay, now you can see it is coming as a set as variable. Okay, so before before going to that, so we will see what types of variables are available and applicable in the postman. Okay, which means variable scopes. So we have around like a, a five types of variable. So now here you can see the first one is a global. Okay, so global in the sense it is applicable across the workspace. Okay, so for example, we are in this workspace. So if you are going to define some variable in the global level, so you can access that variable across all the collection in this particular workspace. Okay, so that is what the global variable. So now the second one is collection variable, which is only applicable for the collection level. So now if you go to here, okay, and here you can see some, some tab called variables. Okay, so that is called collection variable. Okay, let this get loaded. Yeah, so here you can see you have something called variable, right? So this variable is applicable only for the collection level. And we have something like an environment variable. So that will enable you to work with a different environment. For example, uh, dev, QA, production, right? So different type of environment variables you can have. And whenever it is applicable, you can select the respective environment variables. I will tell you how to create an environment variable as well, okay? And the data variable where you can use the external file as a CSV or JSON file, you can send the input to your, your text run. So that will help you to send the data from the external file. And we have something like a local variable. So local variable will work only for the particular request. It is more like a temporary variable. Okay. It will not, I mean, uh, you cannot access from the uh, collection level or you cannot access from the uh, environment level. So this will work only for the particular request. So that is called local variable. And if you look at this uh, preference, right, your local variables, which is a temporary variables are highest preference. Okay, your, your global is the lowest preference. Okay, so this is, I mean, these are the types of variable, one is global, collection, environment, data, local. And we have something like a dynamic variable also, I, we will see that, okay. So now, uh, if you want to create some variable, so for example, let's start with a, a global one. Okay, so if you just go to this environment tab here, you can see globals, right? So this is your global variables. By default, it will be available in your postman. So just click on this. So here you can see variable name. So this is a placeholder for the variable name. So I'm going to set this as a variable name, this ID, user ID, okay? So I'm going to this and I'm giving the variable name as ID, okay? After that, you have variable type, so which is the scope of the variable, okay? So you can select it as, a default, if it is a normal value, then you can, I mean, if it is a normal string value uh, that is not a very sensitive or any uh, any like a password or a credential, then you can leave as it is. So for example, here my ID is triple one, okay? And when you select this as a default, so the value will be displayed. So if you select as a secret, so this will be masked like this, okay? So if you are going to use uh, kind of like a very sensitive information that you don't want to disclose to anyone, then you can use like this, okay? So these are the variable types where you can select as a default and secret. Okay. So when you when you go for a change, it will ask you for the change. That just click on OK. So it will be changed. So now we have something like an initial variables and we have something like a uh, current value. Okay. 
So what is this initial value in the sense? Uh, you can define the variable in the initial and you can define the values in the current also. But when you export them, right? So when you export them in the sense, uh, like when, you, when you're when trying to share this collection to somebody else, someone else in your team, so what happens now, it will store only the initial values. Okay, so here you can see. So the values, the values is shared with your team uh, when you share the variable collection or environment global. Okay, so if you want to share along with the current value, so now if you just see here, so the value is used for while sending the request, current values are never synced to the Postman server. So, so now for example, I'm giving as a triple one, two here. Okay, and I'm going to uh, set this as a variable. So if you want to set the variable, so it is a symbolic, like you have to put as a double curly braces. The moment when you type as an ID, so here you can see this is coming from the G. Okay, the initial value is double one, two, and the current value is triple one. And the scope of the variable is global. So now just close the curly braces. And when you just mouse over here, you can see it is coming as a G, which means it is coming from the global variable. And the initial value is double one, two, and the current value is triple one, okay? So now this will take only the current value. Okay, postman will always take the current value. Do not take the initial value. You can see here. So if you just go to the console tab here, and we can see what value went in the ID. So here you can see it is going as a triple one. So let me clear again. You can see it is going as a triple one. It is not going as a double one two. Okay, so, so the postman will always consider the current value. Okay, but when you start this, um, okay, if you're going to export and if you're going to uh, store as a JSON file and if you're going to share someone else. So in that case, what happens now, this value will not be exposed. Okay, so only the initial value will be exported in the JSON and it will it will applicable only for this initial value. Okay, so if at all, if you want to send an initial value and the current value, so then you have to click on this button, press it all. Okay. So this is all value to know. This is all values will be replaced all in the values within the current value of the variable. Okay. So it will store all the values. Okay. It will not be ignored this one. So when you do the export, so don't forget to click on all this. I mean, press this all button. Okay. So you can do the reset. So reset means uh, it will replace the thing. It will not remove the value. Okay. It will, it will just override the preset all conditions. That's it. So just click on this. So make sure always you are clicking on it. So if you are not doing this, and then when you do the export, then this current value would not be exposed. Only the initial value will be exposed. Okay. So that's the reason. Okay. So make sure always you are clicking on the persist button. So when you click on the persist, the current value also will get synced into the postman. Okay. So where you can see, if you don't click on the present, I mean, uh, press it, then it will not be Synced to the Postman server. If you are, if, if the value is not, I mean, synced to the server when you do the export, then this, this value will not be exported. Okay, so that is one thing. So now, if you want to set the variable, so you have to set like this. Okay, so now, for example, I want to set that value as a variable so as a tester. I want to set it as a variable, right? So what you can do, you can just do the double click. The moment when you do the double click, you can see it is coming as a set as a variable. Okay, so just click on this button. So now you can go for a set as a new variable. So here you can give the name and the value is already we have taken from the this URL and you can select the scope also. So you can, here you can see global, environment and collection. Okay, so these are the three variable types where you can set it directly from here. Okay. So yeah. And, and you can use this variables uh, in, in any way, uh, in anywhere in the, in the postman, like if you want to use in the parameter, Okay, so for example, I'm going to use this ID as a parameter. Okay, so let me remove it from here. I want to use here. Okay, so just double curly braces ID. Okay, so now if you just open the console here, so now the ID value will go as a triple one. You can see it is going as a triple one. So similarly, you can use in the request body as well. So let me go to the request body. So let me put the ID value here. Okay, ID. Now let's open the console. Now I'm sending this request. So this ID value it is going to come from my global variable. Okay. So this is, I mean, already we have a triple one record in the uh, our database. So that's the reason it is throwing error. So let's check uh, what went in the request body. So just go to the console and you can see the triple one is going. 
okay so these are the variables time i mean uh, these are the variables in the postman so what are the variables uh, variables is nothing it's a, just a placeholder where you can store your value and you can reuse them and you have a, like a different types of variable which is a global collection environment the data and the local okay and this is how we have to define so you can define like this and you can define the type of the variable the initial value it is it is not considered when you run your collection or when you when you send your request so only the current value will be taken for the consideration so but when you do the export the current value will not be export until unless if you are clicking on this uh, persist button all okay so when you this persist button all is clicked it means this current value also getting sent to the postman server okay and uh, if you want to set the variable so the, directly you can set like this and you can reuse them okay so if if for example if i if i uncheck this okay so this variable is no more okay if you uncheck this this is no more so now if i go here you can see it, is, it will come as a unresolved variable because this variable is not set we have unchecked here right so make sure this is always checked so that will get affected to you with the relevant test cases i mean the the request is okay so here it is coming as a global now okay so this is what uh, all all ideas or basics about the variables how we can use them and you can use in the pre request tab also okay so for example i'm going to print this so if you want to print this so we have to use the console log statement which is similar to sysout in the java okay so here um, pm dot a uh, gate sorry pm dot global dot gate okay i'm giving as a id value so you can you can read the runtime value also like this so for example if you want to read a global value then you can use pm dot global dot gate which means we are going to read the global value i mean global uh, variables like this and this is a variable name that i am telling you here okay so now if i open the console this is a console statement which will be printed in your console so just i am sending this request and we can see the triple one is getting printed here right and one more thing to remember this variables right so in the, in the postman the variables are stored in the string format okay so all the variables that you are going to store it will be stored as a string format okay it will be in the string so so if at all if you want to store as array or number then there is a di different format we have to use it okay and that i will tell you later we have to use it as a json dot stringify to store the entire response or array object if you want to store them then we have to use the json dot string file by default the postman will store the variable as a string okay that's a reason here you can see so here we have given us a only triple one right but when we send this request you can see it is coming in the string format within the double quotes so by default the postman store the variable as a string format okay if you want to store some array or or some json object then you have to go for a json dot string file okay so these are the variable uh, i mean um, usage in the postman so we will see that in the next topic how we can set the global variables how we can set the collection variables every variables okay thank you guys